what binds the universe together, or how we could potentially manipulate it? Well, the answer to these questions lies in the concept of space-time, the four-dimensional fabric of our universe. Imagine a vast, unending cosmic quilt, stitched together by the threads of three-dimensional space and one-dimensional time. This is space-time, and it is not a static, rigid structure. Oh no, it's dynamic, flexing and bending under the influence of mass and energy. Every celestial body, from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy, contributes to the curvature of this cosmic fabric. And it's this bending, this warping of space-time that is responsible for the phenomenon we perceive as gravity. But here's a thought. What if we could manipulate this fabric, warp it to our will? What possibilities could that open up? So what if we could warp this fabric of reality? Let's explore. Our journey begins with a man named Albert Einstein and his revolutionary theory of general relativity. This groundbreaking idea was formulated in 1915 and it fundamentally changed the way we understand gravity. Instead of being a force acting between two bodies, as Newton proposed, Einstein suggested that gravity is the result of mass and energy warping the fabric of space-time. Picture a rubber sheet stretched taut. When you place a heavy object, say a bowling ball, on the sheet, it creates a dip or a dimple. Now, if you were to roll a marble across the sheet, it would naturally be drawn towards the bowling ball. Not because of some invisible force, but because of the curve the bowling ball created in the rubber sheet. Similarly, massive bodies like planets and stars create dips in the fabric of space-time, influencing the motion of other objects around them. So, gravity isn't just a force, it's the curvature of space-time. How does this warping of space-time translate into what we perceive as gravity? This concept has been validated by numerous experiments, one of which is gravitational lensing. This phenomenon occurs when light from a distant object bends around a massive object between it and the observer, providing visual proof of space-time curvature. So, the heavier the object, the more it bends space-time, and the stronger its gravitational pull. Now let's dive into one of the most extreme examples of space-time warping, black holes. Black holes are fascinating cosmic entities, shrouded in mystery and intrigue. They are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape their grip. Black holes provide a natural laboratory for exploring the extreme bending of space-time. They're like cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in everything that dares to venture too close. At the heart of a black hole is the singularity, a point of infinite density where our understanding of physics breaks down. But it's at the edge of a black hole, the event horizon, where the warping of space-time becomes truly mind-boggling. This boundary is the point of no return, beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. It's a manifestation of the profound warping of space-time around a black hole. Black holes are, in essence, profound distortions of space-time. What if we could take shortcuts through space-time? Imagine a cosmic bridge connecting two distant points in the universe. These theoretical constructs, known as wormholes, propose just that. In essence, wormholes are like tunnels with two ends, each at separate points in space-time, potentially billions of light-years apart. If wormholes exist and can be traversed, we're talking about the possibility of faster-than-light travel. This isn't about breaking the universal speed limit set by light, but instead, it's about bending the rules of the road, or rather, bending the space-time itself. This could mean reaching the furthest corners of the universe within a human lifetime, or even instantaneously, but it's important to remember, wormholes are still purely theoretical, their existence and traversability remain under intense scrutiny and debate among physicists. Wormholes challenge our conventional understanding of space-time and distance. They invite us to imagine a universe where distance may not be as straightforward as it seems. Could we potentially warp space-time, ourselves? Enter the Alcubierre warp drive, a concept that sounds straight out of a science fiction novel. Proposed by physicist Miguel Alcubierre, this speculative idea involves warping space-time to bring about faster-than-light travel. Here's the crux of it. Instead of moving a spacecraft linearly, the Alcubierre drive would contract space-time in front of the ship and expand it behind, creating a sort of warp bubble. The ship itself would then ride this wave, moving toward its destination faster than light could in normal space-time. This doesn't violate Einstein's theory of relativity because it's space-time that's moving, not the ship itself. However, the concept requires a form of negative energy, something not yet fully understood or discovered in our universe. 
While purely theoretical, the Alcubierre drive presents exciting possibilities for the future of space travel. Could this be the key to exploring distant galaxies? Only time and science will tell. But what happens when we look at space-time at a quantum level, you may ask? Well, that's when things get really interesting, and admittedly, a bit complicated. In the realm of the incredibly small, where quantum mechanics reign supreme, space-time behaves differently. It becomes a challenge to understand, a puzzle that physicists have yet to fully solve. This is where the quest for a theory of quantum gravity comes in. Quantum gravity is the holy grail of modern physics, a theory that seeks to reconcile the principles of quantum mechanics with Einstein's general relativity. It's like trying to merge two completely different languages into one coherent narrative. And what does space-time look like at this quantum level? Some physicists propose that it's not smooth, but foamy, made up of countless tiny, fluctuating wrinkles. These quantum fluctuations create a foam-like structure, adding layers of complexity to our understanding of the universe. At the quantum level, space-time may not be as smooth as it seems. Let's go back in time, to the early moments of our universe. Picture the cosmos as a tiny, infinitesimally small point. Now, imagine it expanding at an astonishing rate. This is the essence of inflationary cosmology, a theory that proposes that the universe underwent a period of rapid expansion in its first fractions of a second. During this period of inflation, space-time itself was stretched, twisted, and warped at a cosmic scale. This was not a simple expansion of matter within the universe, but rather a swelling of the universe itself. The force driving this inflation is believed to be a hypothetical field dubbed the inflation field. This field, if it exists, would have had an energy density so potent that it could counteract the gravitational force trying to pull everything back together and instead push everything apart. The effects of this cosmic inflation were not uniform. Tiny quantum fluctuations in the inflation field would have been magnified to cosmic proportions, creating a patchwork of regions with slightly different densities. This is thought to have laid the groundwork for the large-scale structure of the universe we observe today, with galaxies and clusters of galaxies tracing out the dense regions of this primordial cosmic patchwork. But what evidence do we have for such a dramatic event? The answer lies in the cosmic microwave background radiation, a faint glow of light that permeates the universe. This radiation is a snapshot of the universe around 380,000 years after the Big Bang, and it carries with it the imprints of the universe's early history. Tiny temperature variations in this radiation map out the density fluctuations from the inflationary period, providing indirect but powerful evidence for this cosmic inflation. The echoes of this primordial warping of space-time may still be detectable today in the faint glow of the cosmic microwave background radiation. So, we've journeyed through space-time, from the vast reaches of the cosmos to the quantum realm. We've seen how general relativity revolutionized our understanding of gravity, depicting it as the warping of space-time caused by mass and energy. We've delved into the concept of curvature and its role in determining gravitational forces. We've explored the profound warping of space-time around black holes and the theoretical constructs of wormholes as potential shortcuts through the universe. We've pondered the speculative idea of the Alcubierre warp drive and its implications for faster-than-light travel. We've grappled with the complexities of quantum gravity and the foam-like structures of space-time at microscopic scales. And finally, we've considered the theory of cosmic inflation 